Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, we would like to share how to express a fraction as this partial fraction. We have 3x plus 1 divided by x minus 1 times x squared plus 1. What we have to do first is to check the denominator. Make sure the denominator cannot be factorized further. Next, Split the denominator using the factor. We have x minus 1 and x squared plus 1. For the numerator, simply refer to the denominator. Make sure the numerator is always 1 degree lower as compared to the denominator. For the first term, this is linear form which means that to the degree 1. The numerator must be a constant or degree 0. So we introduce a letter A. For the second term, this is quadratic function degree 2. So which means that for the numerator must be linear function which is degree 1. So we introduce bx plus c. Next is to times the entire equation using the denominator part of the fraction that we have originally. So which means that we times x minus 1 times x squared plus 1. So we can offset each other and left 3x plus 1 and this is equal to, so cancel, cancel left a times x squared plus 1. And we have bx plus c times cancel, cancel. So x minus 1. Up to this stage, there are two methods to continue. For method number one, expand the right hand side. So we have 3x plus 1 is equal to ax squared plus a plus bx squared minus bx plus cx minus c. Next is to compare the coefficients accordingly. So we first compare the terms with x squared. On the left, since we don't have the term with x squared, so which means that the coefficient is equal to 0. And on the right, we have a and b, so which means that a plus b. And this implies that a is equal to minus b. And for the term with x, let's compare. On the left, we have 3. And on the right, we have minus b plus c, which means that c is equal to 3 plus b. And for the term constant, let's check. So on the left, we have 1. On the right, we have a minus c, which means that a is equal to 1 plus c. Now we can substitute whatever that we have. From here, we can see that a is equal to minus b. I'm going to substitute this equation to the second equation. So which means that we have c is equal to 3. Since a is minus b, so which means that b is minus a. And now we substitute this into the that equation. So we have a is equal to 1 plus 3 minus a. So minus bring over to the left become plus. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So we have 2a on the left and we left 1 plus 3 which is 4 on the right. And a is equal to 4 divided by 2 which is equal to 2. Since we already obtained a is equal to 2 which means that we are able to obtain b. Since b is equal to minus a which means that b is equal to negative 2. And now we can obtain c. c is equal to 3 plus b which means that c is equal to 3 minus 2 or equivalently equal to 1. The last step is to substitute the values that we obtain into the equation that we form. So we have a divided by x minus 1 which is 2 divided by x minus 1 and we plus bx plus c so minus 2x plus 1 1 divided by x squared plus 1. And hence we done for the first method. Let's proceed to the second method. For the second method is by substitution. Firstly, I'm going to eliminate b and c and left a. So in order to eliminate these two terms, we should substitute 
x is equal to 1. So when x is equal to 1, 3 times 1 plus 1 is equal to 4. And this is equal to a times 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. For this term, since 1 minus 1 is equal to 0, anything times 0, we get 0. So in other words, a is equal to 2 for this case. Next, we can substitute when x is equal to 0. Since when x is equal to 0, b can be eliminated. So for the left-hand side, we have 3 times 0 is 0, plus 1, we have 1. And a already found, which is equal to 2. 2 times 0 plus 1, which is 1, and we plus b times 0 is 0 plus c, and we have 0 times minus 1, which is minus 1. In other words, we obtain c is equal to 2 minus 1, which is equal to 1. Since we have a and c already, and regardless what number we substitute, we cannot eliminate a and c at the same time. So simply take any value that we like. For example, when x is equal to 2. On the left, we have 3x plus 1, which is 3 times 2 plus 1 equal to 7. On the right, we have a, which is 2, and we times x squared plus 1, which is 2 squared plus 1 equal to 5. Add b times x, which is 2b plus c which is 1 and we have x minus 1 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 anything times 1 we get back the same thing in other words b is equal to minus 2 which is exactly the same as compared to method 1 and now we can express the fraction as partial fractions so we have a which is 2 divided by x minus 1 plus b which is minus 2 and we have x plus c1 divided by x squared plus 1 and hence we done. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.